You need a mail. You ain't even here while I'm feasting in the field. That's why I'm always cheesing because I feel like Uncle Phil. And Thank you, Coach. We are about 15 miles west of downtown Phoenix at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's certainly hot outside here in the desert, but somehow this Cardinal crowd turned up the heat a moment ago. They were in a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel, and the Cardinals are set to do battle with the Detroit Lions. teams here each looking to move over 500 and we are underway here in week three and this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line it to the 30. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. Murray has it knocked loose, fumble, and this is scooped up by the Lions. And into the end zone, a scoop and score on the fumble return for the Detroit touchdown. Lining up for the point after. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive, then suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You've just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front. And they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. On first and 10, here's Murray. His throw incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball. But surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Murray looks to throw again, second and ten. It's caught on the right side, Williams. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down five yards now it's third and five the last play on the completion got them half of what they needed now here's a tough third and five shotgun now for murray and the throw there gonna be incomplete coverage was awfully tight there on third down they actually closed off all the passing lanes forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down formation for the cardinals And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. We call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead. And 
and a first and ten. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. Jordan Hicks, third in the NFL in tackles a year ago, there to make the play. Brings up second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll run here with Swift. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ground? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. He's got a first down and more past the 30. taken down at the two-yard line. The CD, I mean, there are touchdown runs, and then there are touchdown runs, and that one certainly fell into the latter category, and that deserves a couple exclamation points. And what I really enjoyed about that run and what made it so impressive to me was how he improvised along the way. Sometimes on a big play, you just get the football and you take off in a straight line and go. But this time, how about the artistry of that play? That looked a little bit like a Picasso to me. They'll run with Swift. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. He gets it halfway there with that run. I think you play up-tempo, get right back on the line of scrimmage, and hammer out him again. Second and goal from the one. Try to run this one in. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action, throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They'll run for it with Robinson. And he didn't get there. Knocked backwards to the two-yard line. They stop him up short on fourth and goal from the one. And this Cardinal defense comes up with a goal line stand. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strong out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Third and long, Murray from his end zone. And that will be incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. Here's Andy Lee now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 
And he's able to get it out of there. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. And the Lions will have excellent field position here as they take over first and 10. First and ten, it's Swift. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the 36, golf. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And all the way inside no the 15 fan, no fan. before they drop him. A gain there of 21 yards. And the Lions first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Play action. It's gone. Flushed out right. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here. As that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a third down and long coming up. Shotgun snap for goal. And he's going to go down again. For the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Randy Bullock on for the field goal. A 47 yard attempt. And Bullock will put this one through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked by Tracy Walker. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. A good run, eight yards there, and it'll be second and goal. Brings up second and goal at the two-yard line. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? One more time to Swift. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They will Swift here, and he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. DeAndre Swift, his sixth touchdown of the season, and the Lions add on to their lead. He's got it, and it's 17-0. Makes the score Lions 17, Cardinals nothing.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter. But you're you don't down. Want to? I know, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you now just you called. It I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it. You mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that they've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy from the 25 on second down Murray the catch made by DeAndre Hopkins and he'll be out of bounds but able to get it up past the 45 22 yards there a first down first and 10 at the 47 yard line Now Murray. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. When the offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Murray to air it out again. Escaping the pressure right. He'll run it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. And there's the beauty of Kyler Murray because we all know he can get it done through the air. Terrific right arm. And nowadays, we don't even talk about his height anymore. He's shown that he can see downfield and make throws. But he also possesses wide receiver speed. He can call his own number or scramble and turn it into a big play as well. Kyler Murray, a dual threat at the quarterback position. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Caught left side, Hopkins. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. At the 14 yard line. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. From the gun, Murray. This will be caught at about the six. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. It'll be Murray on the keeper. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cardinals get a bit closer. I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. The Cardinal offense not going anywhere. They'll stay out and go for two. They'll try and run it here. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. 
so the defense gets the stop. I know it's situation to situation, but who has more pressure there, offense or defense, when they go for two? I, st I truly believe it's the defense has more pressure because the offense has an entire playbook wide open from the two-yard line. You can run it. You can throw it. So defensively, I think most teams are going to be aggressive and force the issue and try and bring pressure. ready to kick off their next drive. They have been red hot, sometimes white hot here in this first half. They're just looking to add to that total right now. And this has to serve as a reminder to myself because so many times I get wrapped up in the play calling, how they've sequenced things, how it's run. But you know, at the end of the day, it's still... And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. So there, Charles, I mean, a situation where it didn't matter how far he had to run, he was not going to be denied, and he winds up taking this all the way to the end zone. Taking it about the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. 30-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. First down, Murray. This one caught by Isabella. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A gain of nine. To throw again on second down. Murray. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. First and ten here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Yeah, this one to his tight end out on the right side. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Brings up second and five at the 44-yard line. Now Murray again. That ball complete to Isabella. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 16. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Murray. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They fake the handoff, now Murray. And this is going to be intercepted. Read it well, and it's picked. The made them game! The Lions. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. ready to kick off their next drive. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we usually think about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play-action pass could very well be open. Matt set to kick off. 
The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. offense ready to kick off their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Running is swift. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? Rob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, here's Gong, eluding the pressure right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Here's second and ten now from the 35. Goff now looking to throw. He'll buy some time right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Out of the gun, gone. Flush to his right. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Cards will take over first and ten. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play guy a question. <laughs> hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. Going to give this time to the tailback. And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. And he'll 
work it across midfield inside the 45. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open, that's a good start for him. At the 43-yard line. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. One thing that I liked about this guy during the draft process was his motor. Of course, I loved his skills, but he plays hard on every down. And that motor on full display there as he gets his first NFL sack. Murray with a third and long. He throws there incomplete. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. They do go for it. It's Murray. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. Nothing here. Oh, they've Nothing intercepted here. Murray for the third time. Picked off down at the 10. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it or you start thinking about going to his backup. offense ready to kick off their next drive. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Hopkins. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Operating from the gun. Murray. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Well, the passing windows are just not there. That's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. And they're trying to have the option to pick it up. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Four yards on the pickup. Good enough to extend the drive. From the gun, Murray. This one complete to the running back, Chase Edmonds. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. 26-yard line. 
Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. At the 21 yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. the gun on third down Murray Detroit was up for the challenge through the air they force a fourth down sometimes it's just not your day there's another failure right there on third down so on is Matt Prater now to try a field goal here from the left hash this from 37 and the 13 year man puts it through and that'll get the deficit down to 15. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? And they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, I think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? And some room to run now. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. DeAndre Swift, his third touchdown of the game, his eighth on the year. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. The kick is good. Go ahead and give him the hat trick. He's been in the end zone now three times. You, you toss your fedora first, okay? You go ahead and do that. But let's be honest about it. That third one, that's the most spectacular run he's had in the ball game. It's almost as if he's been playing his own game of, can I top this? And each run has been more spectacular than the last. At their own 19-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that DeAndre Hopkins, he's all alone! Touchdown, Cardinals! DeAndre Hopkins, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. Cardinals cut into that lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. So they kept it on the ground, got it in zone. Charles, sometimes you probably see teams treat a two-point conversion differently than if it was first and goal from the two, or I should say third and goal from the two. I agree with you totally on that. A lot of teams treat it as if they have farther to go and shy away from running the football. I think this is a great spot to do it because most teams play you for the pass. Go ahead and run and let your linemen surge and fire out. offense ready to kick off their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. He's going to fire one deep over. Oh, wide open. Complete. And he's going to get this deep onto Arizona's side of the field. It's a big play there for the Lions. 
56 yards. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's the Lions holding on to the football, and they also have the lead as we start quarter number four. sudden they've got a first down in the red zone they'll fake the give now gone sliding out of the pocket he's got his man it's caught for a lion touchdown from 19 yards away and the lions add on to their lead they were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late and now that lead even more comfortable and your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Bullock good on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, we'll see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Operating from the gun, Murray. That's complete to Edmonds, his running back. Murray, it's a gain of five on the play, and that'll make it a second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 40. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Murray now on first down. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. DeAndre Hopkins once again the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. At the 40-yard line. To throw again, Murray. They'll get this to his running back, Edmonds. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Throwing again, Murray able to find Isabella. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. First and 10 at the 23-yard line. On play action, it's Murray. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Cardinals get a bit closer. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Makes the score of Lions 38. Cardinals 24. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. The Lions.
Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. On first down, gone. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And he's going to be ripped down by the face mask at the end of this, and that's going to add 15 more onto the end of this thing. Tack on 15 more for the face mask, and that becomes a huge play. Big pass gets caught on you. You're doing everything possible to get him on the ground, and sometimes you end up grabbing the face mask. And now it's first and 10, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now it's Swift. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it, and let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. He'll get a couple yards on that one, and that's going to lead to a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. out there and go for it here on fourth. They go ahead and snap it. Go on. And he's got his man on the out route. And the Lions are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now a play fake here on first down. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, move the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. Good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They go play action here on first down. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Isaiah Simmons brings him down, and that's a play he's going to remember. The first sack of his NFL career. Second and goal. To throw is gone. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. David Baker with the point. And he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13 yard line. Yet another interception. And I just had to double check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used a calculator. I didn't worry about <laughs> double-checking it, but the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. 
Picked off at the 39. Unable to corral him. He fights through. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counterpunch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. After the interception, here's Gong. Dancing to his left. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Shotgun snap for goal. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. Marcus Golden able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And that is incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. It's going to stay out there. They've converted once, failed once. What can they do here on fourth down? The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. This to make it a three-score game late. Bullock's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? At their own 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to... And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at the 19. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception... I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. Throwing now. Golf. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. From three yards out. And the Lions use the short field of their advantage as they cash in for six. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown.
Here's Bullock now for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. Makes the score Lions 48, Cardinals 24. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. He's still fighting forward. Second touchdown on the season. And the Cardinals cut into that lead. Bottom line, when you play a runner with these talents, you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground. Or the first person who gets there, hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, he will continue downfield and find pay dirt. To throw, it's Murray. He's got it. So they convert the two that keeps their slim hopes alive. As we're back to a two-score game. That's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples throughout a ball game. There's a great example right there. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Once again, it's Swift. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And there was some of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Give him two on the play there. And the Lions are going to have a first. And the Lions first down. the 30 31 yard line i don't want to overhype it but this is a big early season game especially an overtime win that can give you a big boost going forward in the season it certainly can and i don't think you're overhyping it because cliches go out the window when you start to play overtime and you're right the winner of this game now that's an extra boost moving forward and it actually is an extra hurt for the team that loses because normally you shake it off but in this situation it lingers a little bit longer so that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert.
about me, that's a lot of it. Four coops, four seasons, drop the top of it. Bust down, but my wrist is just fucking a lot of I got both my girls head to toe designer. Designer. Yeah. Lil' bit, lil' bit. Uh, let me feel myself a lil' bit. Lil' bit, lil' bit. You ain't talking big. Get out my way, lil' bit. I can't hear the hate, got a lot of it. Take these bands to the bank, let them rot in it. So much stress on me, I wish I had it. I got homies that can sleep without two. I got homies that can sleep without. Gucci and Chanel, I got a lot of it. Walk up in the spot like A1 poppin' in. Don't pop it for me cause I'm rich and poppin' in. Yeah. Drip. Little bit, little bit. Uh. Let me feel myself a little bit. Little bit, little bit. You ain't talkin' big. Get out my way, little bit. She gon' put it on me, that's a lot of it. Four coops, four seats, I'm talkin' big. Bust down, but my wrist, time to talk a lot of. I got both my girls head to toe designer. Designer. Drip. Little bit. Let me feel myself a little bit Little bit, little bit You ain't talking big Get out my way, little bit West LA, that where you find me Touch a macho with a d*** Rockin' black clothes Whippin' around that Batmobile Duckin' 5 0 If you step to me, then be prepared for smoke, little bro uh, Let me feel myself a little bit uh, Let me blow this down a little bit Drip Little bit, little bit uh, Let me feel myself a little bit